So in all honesty with this episode, episode 174 for Borto, I'm genuinely confused as to what was even going on to begin with <laughs> throughout the entirety of the episode. I'm confused because <laughs> there was stuff that obviously needed to happen within this episode, but I feel like they just could have done it like in a better way, like faster to where we can get to like the proper like interesting stuff that's gonna happen next week with the next episode but like still like have that i don't know just it was really weird because like deep is in the episode and boards and sarada obviously get there and they're about to fight and they're about to fight in the next episode konohamaru is about to fight victor and orochimaru actually ends up showing up in the episode in a scene that was actually very cool and i actually really liked and it surprised me because like this fucking nothing i'm gonna put an image of her on the screen actually this like nothing character this character who was always hanging around with victor in the background who would like have a line every now and again like she was there she was about to fight mugino because mugino was trying was trying to take the feudal lord out away from the scenario because there he's the only guy who actually witnessed the actual experiments that victor was going to be doing and if he died then everything else just wise if he wasn't alive they would they would have nothing in order to you know basically quote convict <laughs> uh victor of the crimes that he's committed right because they need a witness and i'm just like are they are we gonna watch her fight are we about to see something like interesting with her or like have her like get sudden character growth or something even though she was a background character who literally didn't fucking do anything who barely talked are we about to see something from her because that's the case I really, I really don't care about her at all, and I'm proposing a question of, did we even know what her name was? Because I'm like thinking about what I'm trying to say for the for the review for the commentary purposes of the episode, and I'm like, did we even know her name at any point? I'm like genuinely trying to remember if we ever had at any point ever heard her name, and I don't think we ever did. Someone can correct me all they want, but I. I genuinely don't think there, there was ever a name said for her at any point. It was very confusing as to why that happened, but we got a really cool scene where Orochimaru shows up, fucking slices her and makes her go fucking Avengers uh, Infinity War on her. And she's just gone. Dead. She's never coming back. Thank fucking Christ. Someone else is there with him, and the only two people I can logically suspect is that it's Log, uh, the older clone version of Mitsuki, or Sugetsu. Uh, but I'm looking at the model that they used for the person who's trying to, like, hold Mugino because he's, like, stabbed and he's wounded. It's a little on a shorter side, so I'm like, for all we know, that could actually be, like, Mitsuki himself, so I have no fucking clue. Uh, and the, just the whole rest of the first half of the episode, towards the end, they just kind of explained the whole thing about the basis of the, the Divine Tree and how it works in a sense and why they're probably going after it and it's yeah the fruit of the divine tree that was ate by kaguya like eons ago basically and yeah that was that's basically the whole point of why victor's doing this and then deepa is, is like being questioned like yeah you're going after the fruit of the divine tree too right and then deepa is like no i want to eat people i'm fucking hungry man i'm like really that can't be why you're a part of this dude it was really it was a weird scene just because it's like mugino is like laughing his fucking ass off because he's like oh i can't believe these two are here after i beat their ass and i didn't get to taste them or some shit and it's like, oh, he's, like, talking about, like, actually eating them. And then he, like, further reiterates that he just wants to fucking eat people. Even though I don't think we ever had uh, seen at any point him insinuating that he ate somebody. Just that he fucking brutally murdered them. Which he definitely did. If His motive for doing this was just to kill people just for the sake of killing then that would have made more sense but he's talking about eating people or like getting a sense of their taste or something around the law along the lines of that even though at no point did we ever get a scene that insinuates that at all it's very weird and the episode just sort of ends with boris and sarada saying yeah we're gonna beat you and i'm like oh, okay i guess we gotta wait a whole another fucking week in order for actual interesting action to happen so i don't know it was a weird episode i don't know if i really liked it at all Honestly, it kind of just feels like we could have deleted half, more than half of the episode, and we could have gotten the basis of why we were supposed to watch it, and then we could have moved on to more interesting stuff, but neither here or there, I guess. From the previews alone, it looks like the next episode's going to look a little bit more interesting, so I'm excited for that at least. I don't really know what else to say other than that, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you are not subscribe, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> I guess let me know what you thought of the episode in the comments. I don't know. It's whatever. Peace.